Okay, we're back. This is going to be video 8. Uh, in video 8, we will configure the the landscape tool for OpenStack and we will install uh, the cloud and deploy all these nodes uh, with the software that it needs to, to get our VMs up and running, get our storage, all the stuff that it takes to get the cloud going. I wanted to point out one more time, uh, we have two of these boxes that have uh, multiple NICs in them. One, uh, I believe it's this one, is plugged into the same network as all the rest of these. The, the, it's the same same switch, nothing different about it. Now the other one is plugged into the public network uh, because uh, some of the OpenStack products require it. So just wanted to point that out. I made a crappy network diagram to show that. Uh, it's out there on the site. Take a look at it if you need to. Uh, so I just want to point that out again. So let's get back to where we were with um, in the last video with uh, configuring our cloud. So we're back to our URL that we found in the last video. Uh, we've met all the requirements, so we're going to go configure. Okay, now th there are a few different options you can do right now. There's more coming, I guess, in OpenStack. But right now, the, your compute, you have to use KVM, uh, this kernel-based virtual machine. So just select that. Uh, open vSwitch for all the networking. Uh, it already knows about... Uh, it, this is a, the default config that it found from MAS. Just go ahead and use that. Uh, now, I would really like to do object store Swift and then uh, use a block store Ceph but it takes one more machine and I'm hoping maybe I'll get I'll find another machine and, and we can test that later but um, for now we're just gonna go Ceph for our object store and I think I'm just gonna use both uh, block and object since we'll ha we'll already have it set up we can use it plus this it uses less machines uh, at any rate, so I'm just going to let OpenStack have all these boxes. This is saying that one of them is plugged into the public network, like I was I was saying before. I'm just going to let uh, OpenStack have all of these and save it, and we'll hit install. Now, he's going to go burn through this process, and it takes a long time, maybe 20 minutes or so. But you'll st out on the MAS nodes, you'll start seeing these deploy as well. Uh, it kind of does them full bore all at once, but they've changed the stipulations around on some of the software, so we're going to use less nodes, so it might might uh, happen a little faster. But I'm going to pause, let this churn away, and I'll be back. 77%. Uh, we're still installing. Just giving you an update. Okay. The OpenStack cloud install has completed. The cloud is available. We have made one. That's that's pretty cool. Uh, it did use... I was kind of monitoring things here. So now you can see these LXC... See, these are all machines, but these are virtual machines. If you see an LXC, that's a container. So it's running on a virtual node on one of your boxes. Uh, it's actually running on that first node that uh, landscape uh, installed originally so this is just all virtual containers and then it spread out whatever it thought it needed to on the other remaining physical nodes uh, Juju let's see if he populated that yeah just gives you the uh, information uh, later we'll go and and look at the actual Juju GUI so you can see how it, it spreads it out. It, that's kind of neat. Go back to OpenStack and now we're going to, it's going to give you all of your data, how it's running. Um, this is just pretty neat. We'll explore all this stuff as we spin up VMs and and things like that. Uh, I wanted to mention too, during the install it kicked this machine over. Uh, I 
think twice because I had to um, refresh the browser and go back in. It was it looked like it was stalled out. So just hit refresh. It'll make you log in again. But uh, it, no worries. It it went pretty smooth. But that's it for the install video. A pretty short one this time. Uh, on the next video, we'll go through all the configurations and how to spin up a VM and and all that good stuff. But I think that's it for this one. Uh, I'll see you soon. Thanks.